BBC News Prime Time. Now, in the day's other news, the Helen Sussman Foundation and the Judicial Services Commission squared off in the Western Cape High Court today. The foundation wants the court to force the commission to hand over transcripts of its 2012 post-interview deliberations on judge candidates for the Cape High Court. Earlier, the foundation asked the court to set aside the JSC decision in a judicial review. The Helen Sussman Foundation says there's a glaring omission of the all-important private deliberations, which is crucial for a proper review. The foundation wants access to the deliberations to prove suspected unlawful preference of black candidates over the white counterparts. What initially happened is Advocate Gauntlet was uh, nominated for a position. He applied, he went through the public interview process. At the end of the public interview process, the JSE went away and in private made their deliberations. The result came out which said that Gauntlet wasn't going to be nominated. Justice Louis Harams at the time wrote to the JSE to ask them for reasons as to why he wasn't appointed. In their reasons, they used that phrase, to appoint two white men would do violence to the Constitution. It's our view that that interpretation of transformation is unlawful, or prospectively unlawful, and we want to get access to the tapes in order for us to prove that unlawfulness. The JSC argues that it has handed the Foundation the reasons for its recommendations, as compiled by Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng, and has released all other records required. The Commission insists the deliberations will remain private and confidential unless the court decides otherwise. The JSC has declined to comment at this stage. Justice Andre Lakhranji has reserved judgment. Lukanu Talata, SABC News, Cape Town. The Ministerial Committee set up to probe the eviction of nearly 800 people from San Rao land at